Hi, I'm Buster with A&B Wood Products and uh, cutting up some English walnut here today. So uh, get to chopping, see what it looks like. Figure out what I did. Where did I put my earplugs? Left them on the head. Oh yeah, and he has to wear his helmet because he's apparently allergic to the wood. <laughs>
So this video is going to be a little bit um, short because we just wanted to finish cutting up this English walnut and show you uh, what all this wood looks like because we just got done cutting that log and that log and we're going to spray these down, show you what they look like and then um, we're going to start on this elm here. Maple. Or maple, sorry. Next. And then after the maple, we got these two bigger, bigger logs back here. Uh, what are these two? Well, this is a sycamore. He thinks it's an ash of some kind. And then, of course, the big sycamore. And we're going to be cutting up these two, but uh, <clears throat> we got to clear some space over here. So we got room to do those. Do you want to just stick them up on here as we wash them off? So we can take them up front and drop them? Huh? I'm going to set them on the ground right here. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. Uh, I used your thing for your taping. Cut up that. Oh, I'm walking on some really pretty stuff right here. That's pretty. Yeah, that, <laughs> that looks good right there. <clears throat> what did it cut into? I don't know. It's got a nice dip to it. <clears throat> That's what I thought. It sounded like it plugged down. I don't know how it looked. Well, we need to get those other belts on. Yeah, that's not a belt, that's a blade belt. I don't know why. That's pretty. I don't know, bummer, I did it right there because that's a pretty feathering right there. I don't see any nails or anything anywhere. Yeah, it might have just been a little bit of stress in the wood and it pulled because it just did it right there and then it straightened out and cut. Well, like I said, that's why I think it's a belt. No, I won't do have anything to do with the belt. Okay, so if it stresses a little bit and pulls and the belt's not grabbing, wouldn't that do no, that? No, the wood spreading as in stressing the log. Yeah, but we've had plenty of logs that shouldn't matter. We've had other logs that have moved and done that. Yeah, but not very often. Yeah. Hey. Well, I was going to move the others down to that. Maybe you want to look at them oh. and then I will move the next ones over. Are you going to just stack those in and take them down there and stack them? Well, do you want to look close at the crop feather? Yes. I already did. I showed this to him. That is pretty right there, though. That is really pretty, actually. Huh. What makes all these little dots? Limbs. Is that all limbs? Yep, that's where limbs try to huh. grow out. Interesting. And you want to let the forks down a little bit? Oh, yeah. Hold on, guys. Let me let get the forks down for him so he can load these up and get them out of the way. And I don't want to come down. Because down is forward. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Down. Are we going to keep one or two out of this or no? Uh, hmm? I'm just going to ship it all.
I'm just gonna tell him to sell it and give you some money out of it. Hmm. That's pretty wood. Huh. I really pretty wood. Do you book, book, uh, what do you call them, uh, butch, book match? Well, those are. I said you could. Yeah, you could flip the one over. And, and make something really pretty out of this wood. Because <clears throat> it's pretty. It is very pretty wood. This got kind of curved to it, don't it? Yep. Uh, hey. Here, let's get behind this wood because he's dangerous with the water hose. It's pretty. Oh. That's really pretty stuff. All these little dots just kill me. There's little dots everywhere. <laughs> When's he supposed to come over and get a load? the edge of it. What? That's got blue on the edge, kind of. Kind of, sort of blue. Yeah. On the edge. <laughs> yep. Here it is, blueish. Whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'll take that out there. I'll show you guys this. Oh, that goes that. See, there's all the little tiny, little tiny dots. <clears throat> this is some wild, uh, this is some wild, um, bark on this tree. Black locust. Is that what that is? <laughs> this is some wild, wild, wild. Ooh, this could be pretty wood. Holy smokes. Can we have a piece of this? What? Wow, that's going to be pretty. What's this? More English walnut. Oh, wow. But I don't know how many varieties of English walnut there are. I'd like, to get, I'd like one or two pieces of this stuff. Oh, Excuse me. I'll get closer after he puts the hose down. Can we have a piece or two out of this? This would be pretty to make a table or something out of. Is it thick enough? Yeah. Wow, this is some cool wood. So you don't know exactly what kind of... Ooh, look at this. That is freaking cool. And a bit of a split in it. Things like a ring shank in the center. Yeah, but this is freaking cool shit. Huh. Oh. This is really cool wood. <laughs> wow. I'm getting better. What's up with the the break in it? That's weird. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Hmm. That is really cool stuff. I don't really think I like uh, English walnut, but I do. Did you not? Did you just see what it did? Huh? Mm. <clears throat> he flipped that and got water all over me. <laughs> That's pretty. There's a little rod in there where they trimmed the branch off. 
That is really pretty stuff. Yeah. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's English walnut. This is, for most of the time, this is getting fairly large for an English walnut around here. Wow. That is some really freaking cool stuff. Wow. <sighs> I want that piece. That, that English walnut's almost 20 years old. Huh. I want that piece. It's a lot smaller than this tree is. Can I have this piece? Yeah. Got a bullseye. Got a couple. Uh, uh. This is cool. That is really cool. Okay, I'll try not to stay cool again, but this is this is really some neat wood. Huh. Oh. Huh. So why is it dip, different color just in the middle? Sapwood. Uh, heartwood. The lighter color is the living portion of the tree, the dark in the middle. Hmm. No longer is alive, it's just support mechanism. Hmm. That is interesting. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, now we're just going to get the plain Jane. Ow. Plain Jane wood. Got some boar in it. Yeah. Neat. It's probably been the neatest wood yet. <laughs> I think, you know. <clears throat> well, like I said, we're going to get this out of the way and, and at least load the saw back up. And then hopefully tomorrow morning we can start cutting on this one. What do you think? I guess. Let's see your eyeballs. Yeah, you had an allergic reaction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I don't understand why you tell them on a video, hey, I'll be doing this tomorrow morning because it won't get posted tomorrow morning. <laughs> well, because then they know what to expect in the future, see? Yeah, you could say, for our next video. Yeah, uh, okay, so let's say our next video. We're going to load that up and try and cut that one. And then hopefully we'll cut those two monsters. Still got to cut that peach tree. Uh, you want to cut this little tiny peach tree that we just pulled out of the ground. <laughs> that may be pretty. Mm -hmm. If you're in southwest Idaho and have a big log, we can cut it up for you. A and B Wood Products, 208. Four four seven nine six nine one. And guys, again, like, share, and leave a comment because we need how many more subscribers? About four more, four hundred more. Uh, yeah, I think it's about four hundred more to reach a thousand. We need about four hundred more subscribers, and who some lucky subscriber that leaves a comment is going to win a five hundred dollar gift card. A t-shirt and some other things that we're going to load up in in a package for you guys plus we're going to try and ship you guys a piece of wood uh, we don't know if that's going to be very feasible but we're going to give it our a good effort on making that happen except if you're across seas and that's that would be more of a challenge <laughs> but we will still try don't don't get us wrong <clears throat> but uh, yeah like uh, definitely subscribe and if you subscribe leave one comment not it doesn't matter what it is just say hi and that will make it so that we can get a hold of you if you win something thank you thanks guys see you later